And I had some te technical difficulties. Um, I would share this video, but it's not going to pull up correctly. Uh, I was trying to go over my Tulsa trip real quick before I went off, and I was about to do that. I had like 10 minutes to go on the live, and it shut off on me. So hopefully everybody comes over to uh, uh, this live. Uh, let me see if I can share this event. What is happening? Healthier lifestyles, Corey Styles. Uh, actually, this is the second live. The other one just messed up. Um, I'm trying to figure out how to share it. There you go. <clears throat> I was going to share this with uh, with Facebook and, and again. Uh, it did mess up. But uh, I did give you a shout out on the last one. And on a couple of videos, I, I was trying to give you a shout out to get your uh, channel going. Uh, more on the healthier side because you uh you're really doing a great job man um you're looking good and, and and yes i did say that to another gentleman so if you uh i wouldn't i don't know if i would call him a gentleman but uh <laughs> but uh check his channel out guys click his name right there uh, oh i didn't see you in that one because i was having some difficulties well thanks for tuning into this one um, i'm just going to the different platforms and i'm sharing this again just to uh just to get the word back out. But I appreciate you guys tuning in um, again. <clears throat> yeah, it's just a lot of stuff to go through again once you have to. Uh... Once you have to do this over. There we go. Okay, yeah, if you got any other questions before I go into this Tulsa trip, uh, please, uh, please uh, do uh, ask me and I will, uh, whoop, I will try to answer some of them before, beforehand. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm multitasking here. Hey, Canadian Racing League. How are you doing? I appreciate you tuning in as well. Uh, yes, Mike, uh, I did see your message saying you're going to go check that Noodle video out, and I appreciate it. Um, yeah, uh, something happened with with, face, with uh, the, the Internet connection, um, so I don't – and the Internet actually worked good. It was just YouTube side of it, so I'm not sure what was going on there. I was checking all my other stuff, and everything was uh, working properly. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. Oh, but guys, if you're in the Tulsa area, um, let me know um, through an email or something if you can make it to an event. If you make it to any of these events, if you want to go, please let me know the night beforehand to make sure everything is still on uh, uh, still on track. No, um, it's just the internet, folks. If you do lives and stuff like that, you're gonna you're gonna go get into a lot of problems. Um, so it's just uh, you never know. It, a lot of times it might be the internet connection. A lot of times it's YouTube. Look, guys, I got a, uh, I got a little thing. Look, see this? Oh, it's actually Eclipse. Uh, it's a privacy thing on my, on my, uh, on my webcam. It was the privacy thing came with two of them from my old the, the webcam I just bought, and I already stuck it on this newer one or the older webcam and the new one. So I sent the other one back, and I got a free privacy deal. Chicka chicka brown cow, chicka chicka brown cow. Oh, Anna, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Every, everything helps with the gas money. I think gas money, it might be about a hundred dollars to make it there and back uh, with gas, maybe 75. Um, but um, we're actually going to do extra stuff and stop off. If we see a tourist attraction, um, that might be open around the epidemic time um, or something that we can go videotape. Um, we're actually going to do just wing it. That was a pun, I guess. I didn't really mean, but when we're doing the challenge, the eating, uh, if we see something, a sign that, hey, we're just going to go and, and check stuff out. If we see something that's interesting, uh, we're going to stop and vlog, maybe go live or something like that. <clears throat> 
Mike Watson. No, I don't have the record for wins. Randy has a record. I don't know. He has like 800 and something. Um, actually, I lost two out of 310, but I went back and finished those like early early on. So I, I, I've won 310 um, and in like three years maybe, but I slowed down drastically the last half a year or, or so. Uh, so I'm pretty much not trying to get a record like how many wins. Um, it just – when I go on trips, I, I do do that. But we're going to try to get a lot more content for you guys, different stuff other than just Walmart and sitting here and in the car. Mike, uh, you got to check out uh, my homepage and start Googling. If you want to see certain stuff, uh, just go on my homepage and the search the search bar in my homepage. Just Google sea fishing and you'll, you'll, I already have a trip. We went to Florida. We did some deep sea fishing. We did that one. Um, Tasha caught uh, on her birthday on January 12th. She caught a Mai Mai. Um, and uh, we went coral reef fishing um, and we went pier fishing. So if you want to see that, there's like about three or four videos of that on there as well. <clears throat> hey, sixth. Yes, he does. And actually, I, I started uh, getting a video uh, food challenges started. So uh, there's a food challenge down the street at a gas station. Yes, you don't see many of those. So at, uh, at LT Express, I'm going to try to do a food challenge there, a hot case challenge. So once they get the inside remodeled, hopefully that doesn't take too long. Um, I'm going to do like gizzards uh, with gravy. They got gizzards with gravy. They have chicken. They have fish, corn dogs, uh, fries, pizza. Uh, so uh, we're going to... Uh, we're going to try to do a hot case challenge, like an eight pound, seven, eight pound hot case challenge. So we can do that in the future. A lot of times when people start challenges, they only do it one or two months and they stop doing it. Yeah, Mike, again, if you search my YouTube channel um, for, I have about six videos with Randy, uh, but, but with his schedule, his schedule is way more hectic than mine. I'm, I mean, it's going to, it's nothing that we can just set up like that. So when it happens, it will. And I really, I really would uh, would, would like to do that this year and go on a trip with him. <clears throat> yeah, Randy, eight hundred thirty nine. Yes, uh, he has a lot of, of, of food challenges. He was going to stop at six hundred. Doesn't look like he did. Um, I would say nice at Teresa. It is really re superb that uh, her friend did that though. Um, it's not in the best area, um, but it's, um, it's really, really freaking nice of them to, to, to help out um, um, like this. Um, we can have more room, um, try to do a media room. And I wanted, when I paint the walls all blue, I didn't even do it yet because the water and electric's not even on there yet. So we're waiting for the gas to come out to test the gas lines. And once that's happening, um, then, uh, then we'll, we'll start painting everything because I don't want to paint if I don't have any water or electric there. So uh, as soon as I do that room, we'll, I'll pay for that live stream, that duck, that was it called? Duck stream or duck, whatever that, that one was I was using that one time. Um, Cause in, if you pay for the, if you pay for the app, you can actually have a background, you use the green screen. So I'm going to use the blue screen. I'm going to use that. I would use green screen, but the green of this would be, be, be canceled out. You'll see through me. Um, so I'm doing the blue um, and I'll have anything in the background. I can do any kind of background I want while I'm going live. So I can <clears throat> pretty much look like I'm anywhere in the world. So I'll do that here in the future. Um, so I have a lot of stuff planned. I got some some um, umbrella lights coming again. I got umbrella lights. Actually, I already got those. So umbrella lights, I got the stuff to set up in there to make it make it look nice. Pensacola, Florida, um, Stoner. That is a that is way kind of way out the way. There's there's something else in Alabama or somewhere with the Gulf, something Gulf that people want me to go, but it's way out the way. It's like there's nothing in that path really to do as a promotion or contest, uh, but it's like way down south, uh, and it's it's really it's really difficult to to get to there to to make that. Uh, and even, even if it's even and not losing money, if it's even and make a trip to, 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 
to make money or, or come out even, it's not, it's really difficult to, to go to that location, that, that location. <clears throat> the spin wheel still right there. Uh, if you guys, again, Mike, if you, if you, if you heard, uh, I, I did let people know the spin was the 19th, the last live I did. You guys got to stay tuned. I mean, if you stay tuned and be informed of, of the Garbage Disposal Facebook page, YouTube Community News, I do actually, I do tell everybody what I'm doing. So if you want to be informed and set your reminder, I let them know last last Friday, the, t- the 19th, this Friday, I'm doing spin wheel. I'm doing that spin wheel this Friday. So mark your, uh, mark your calendar. Um, we are going to be doing that uh, at Probably 9 p.m. Central, uh, maybe 8 p.m., but I'm pretty sure it's probably 9, and I'll, I'll set it up in there again and do a, um, do a nasty uh, nasty spin wheel. So tell all your friends about it. Say, Friday, we have plans. Friday, tune in to watch this guy eat all this crazy stuff. <clears throat> and I got Oreos. I'm dipping in pickled pig's feet if it lands on it. Four, five, or six. <clears throat> I even put six, I believe. Where is it at? Six Oreos dipped in pickled pig's feet juice. Yes, that's on there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Aaron wants a catch and cook challenge. Um, I won't do a challenge. I mean, if you if you understand how it, how hard it is to, to video cooking, video catching it, video cooking it, uh, it's a lot uh, – and fishing, it's it's a lot of uh, a video, and and then trying to do a challenge. I'm I'm getting out of doing a lot of challenges. I'm uh, basically doing food reviews, uh, and I do some quick challenges. I don't like to do home challenges. I did Subway home challenge, turned out not to be even a great challenge that nobody viewed much. Like well, you're not nobody, but I didn't get a lot of views on it. Um, so the direction is this channel is going to be vlogs, food reviews, mukbangs, uh, stuff like that. Uh, the cooking, gardening. So in the future, you're going to see a lot of more car- uh, uh, of the cooking and gardening when we get a house. Uh, we might do some cooking at the place that we're at now. We'll just fix up the kitchen a little bit right there and do some kind of cooking. Um, that would probably definitely happen. Uh, not probably, but definitely. Um, gardening is going to be probably next year. Um, <clears throat> uh, we're going to do the more fit like we've been doing fishing. So if you watch the vlog one 148, to 155, uh, you'll see uh, a lot of campfire cooking. You're going to see fishing. Uh, so I did put one video out of 148 out, and it was out of order. I'm sorry, guys. It's going to come out again. So if you see vlog 148 of, of going fishing, that's supposed to have been the first day. And after that day, every day I put a video out of the eight days. So you're going to see that video one more time come out. So if you see that, that's why. Uh, the vlog's coming out again because I actually it it, it posted out of out of order. <clears throat> um, I've had alligator. I have a uh, raccoon. I've ate uh, uh, some. I've ate pretty much a lot of stuff. I've never. I've ate turtle. I try stuff. I mean, I try stuff just a little bit. It's not turtle like stuff's too gamey. Um, you got to cook it a long time, I guess, and, and dilute it or something. But I, I'm not, I wasn't a fan of that. If you fry anything, pretty much everything fried is good. <clears throat> Soft shell turtles. Oh, never tried those. So I had some, I guess, out of the pond, out of the pond turtles. Uh, <clears throat> Never had the balut and never really, uh, probably for quite a bit of money, I would do it. It had to be quite a bit of money. Actually, speaking of that, that summer strong or some strong, that fish, I, uh, they wanted $45 for a can of that, the real stuff, not the fake stuff. $45 for a can. I was going to get it. And I think Tasha said she might do it with me if I get it. I'm not sure, but I would definitely do it if I get it. Um, I put a bid in for $22. They declined it fast. So that's not going to happen right now. But if I did have that, I would do I would do a certain amount of that can for $20. 
it had to only be like a fourth or an eighth of that can. I got to see how big the can is. But if I had it on the, the spin wheel, I would only do a little bit of that. I wouldn't do the whole can. But for a certain amount of money, I would do it for a, a whole video. Uh, so there's stuff that I won't do just for, oh, let me do this. Uh, I did order, speaking of that, I did order some hot stuff from Amazon uh, and eBay. So I did order some hot stuff. I need to get with Luther the Great and ask him if he wants to collab. Uh, if Luther the Great uh, sees this video and I don't get with him, please text me or email me and uh, we'll do a collab, okay? Because I, I saw them Reapers that you had. I don't have any Reapers anymore because my house burnt down and they were in that uh, deep freezer that I froze. Um, so I don't have any more Reapers. So I need to get some Reaper plants. If I can just grow Reaper plants in, in, a, in, a, in a pot, if I can find Reaper plants around here, I would I would have done that. It's just kind of late in the season to try to start. Actually, summer actually just started. It's going to start Saturday, the day before Father's Day. Uh, but usually I would plant them about a couple months prior. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, yeah, Nicola. Uh, Nicola, um, uh, Luther the Great's channel. Um, let me see if I even have it on here uh, pulled up. I will share his. I will share his channel right now. If you guys like hot challenges, he does a lot of them. Uh, and he actually sent me the packet chip. The, the, uh, that I got the packet chip. He sent me some of them reapers. Uh, so if if you saw some of the hot challenges, he's actually sent me the coley noodles that burnt in the fire. So I don't have the coley noodles anymore. But this is his channel. Please subscribe to it. Tell him that the garbage disposal sent you. Please do. He's a really great guy. Um, he sends Katie Prettyman stuff. He sends other eaters uh, uh, hot foods. Uh, so I want to do another uh, challenge with him, and I really, uh, really appreciate him as a friend too. Um, he came to uh, a couple of my events, a few of my events. Uh, so uh, let me see. I did get the gummy worm, the gummy bear, the hottest gummy bear. I got. I ordered that one. Ordered. I ordered the two bater. I think I ordered that. Um, ordered a few other ones that I saw. Uh, so I'll be doing some hot challenges. I don't like doing them, but I will do them for you guys. What are you talking about? I am from Russia. Um, I'm just talking about what I'm talking about. I'm not sure what, what you're talking about or what I'm talking about or what I'm talking about or what you're talking about. Okay, I'm not trying to confuse you anymore. I would just mess with you. No, but uh, you might have to do subtitles on here or something, maybe. Yeah, people like people in pain if it ain't them, okay? Chastity, okay? And all the rest of you guys, you, you know who you are. Um, I always say it's like watching cops on TV, like watching cops. You like to see people get pulled over, but you don't like to be the person staring in the rearview mirror with the cops in the back. It's kind of like that with hot challenges. People like people to do hot challenges, but they don't like to do them themselves. <clears throat> Mike Watson, um, yeah, he told me to do that, and there's a couple other things. Uh, I met Wayne. We got a, a video together in New York, uh, but I met him in New, uh, uh, North Carolina. If you check that video out, Feasting with Friends, uh, we've done that one as well. But he uh, <clears throat> he told me his technique. But there's a lot of people that have techniques. If you go into hot challenges, you're going to see stuff on the slide, the corner of your eye. Like when I went to uh, for a $1,000 hot, hot uh, taco contest at Sugar Tacos, uh, if you saw that video, at the corner of my eye, I saw a guy carry in a, uh, a half a pint of creamer. People drink straight creamer thinking I'm going to win this contest. I got the edge on everybody. It's a mind thing, folks. It's a mind thing. Um, I don't do anything when I go into a challenge. I just go into a challenge. I don't do. I used to do Pepto-Bismol Max, drink the whole thing. Yes, I wouldn't recommend it. Don't do it. Don't do it. <clears throat> but I used to do all that stuff. I just walk into a challenge, do the cha do the contest, and and. Uh, just like the, the 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 jalapeno contest, ate 170 jalapenos, didn't drink creamer, didn't drink milk. Uh, so I'm not sure. It just drank water. 
so people, it's just a mind thing. I don't know why people, people, if it helps you, if it does help you in the event, thinking that, thinking, you know, to, 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 for the mental part of it, uh, there is a mental part of the challenge too. So if it does help people, then it does. Yeah. I, people do. People think I like, people think I like hot challenges. I do not. The other end really doesn't. The older you get, no, not good at all. So uh, I don't like, I mean, I like spicy. I like to taste my food. I'm not a Neanderthal caveman guy that testosterone that, hey, I'm going to eat the hottest food, the hottest hot sauce on my chicken that I, you can't even taste a chicken. Just eat a stick with hot sauce on it. Pretty much save the chicken. Um. And then, oh, and then they're sweating. They're really going crazy, really hot. And then they're, let me take another bite of that. It's just stupid to me. Yes, sixth, it burns twice, two or three times. Bob Robert, funny, funny comment there. <laughs> I've ate cow tongue before. I ate tripe. Uh, I've ate... Uh, Pig snoot. Pig snoot is freaking delicious, folks. If you haven't had a pig, a pig snoot, a barbecue pig snoot, you don't know what you don't know what life is. The pig snoot is really delicious. It's really crispy. If it's not crispy, don't eat it. Okay, that's what she didn't say. But uh, it's really good. But, um, oh, I'm going to let me tell you, folks, uh, but the Tulsa trip here, uh, Branga Steakhouse, Russellville, Arkansas, June 23rd, 3 p.m., okay? Rewind this. If you, I don't have anything for Wednesday or Thursday, but rewind this or go to the Facebook, the Garbage Proposal page, look at that trip. I will update the trip in the next week to, to, to give you a, a more detailed of every single thing, maybe, uh, that I have down. Um or community news on YouTube. Um, but on Tuesday, the first day of the trip, Tuesday, 23rd at 3 p.m., Branga Steakhouse in Russellville, Arkansas. If you want to come to any of the events, email me the night before to make sure everything's still kosher, everything's still cool. Uh, I don't have anything till Friday in Tulsa. Tulsa, Oklahoma at Inside Mall 31 at Alpha Grill on Friday the 26th at 11 a.m., uh, I will be doing that one. Uh, it's a, a porkopolis burger. So I'm pretty sure there's pork in it. Um, it's like five or six pounds with the fries. Um, only one person's completed it. Nobody's ever done except about three days ago. Some, somebody's done it in like 26 minutes, which is freaking from people that can't do it in 45 minutes for somebody doing 26. But was not a professional eater either. That's a really good job. So I really commend him. His name is Corey. Uh, so uh, hopefully he might show up when I do it um, um, on the 11th at the 26th, Alpha Grill. And the next day I'll be at the same spot in Mall 31 at Alpha Grill, kicking off next month's July's challenge of the, the Alpha King, the King Alpha. It's a loaded smoked baked potato. This place has, I'm slobbering just thinking about it, folks. It's chef, it's, it's a... A restaurant there in the mall that's like chef quality food. If you see his video, follow him on the garbage spot. On I'm sorry, <laughs> follow him on Facebook, okay, and say, Hey, the garbage proposal sent me here. If you want to see the live challenge, you can't make it to Tulsa. If you want to see the live challenges of those two days, go there. Um, and uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it up, put his link up now, Alpha Grill. And follow this page, guys. Follow this page. Yep. Follow that page right there. That's Alpha Grill. Tell them that the garbage disposal sent you, and you can't wait till, till the live feed. Um, he's going to go live on his page, not me. I'm going to put a video out like two or three weeks later. But he will go live that day. So Friday the 26th, Saturday the 27th, 11 a.m. 
on that. And I think Oklahoma is still in Central Central Standard Time. Um, Sunday, probably 8 p.m., unless it rains. We're going to go fishing, but if it rains, we'll do this a little earlier. But Ted's Cafe in Broken Arrow, Oklahoma, um, we're going to be doing that. Uh, that's right near Tulsa, um, probably 30 minutes. Uh, we're going to do that on June the 28th, Sunday, June 28th at 8 p.m. That might change, folks. So please get with me tonight before if you want to make it. If it looks like rain in the forecast, we'll probably do it like 4, 5, 6 p.m. Uh, for dinner instead of have to wait till 8. Um, we'll be fishing um, the 28th on the Sunday, like I just said. Uh, and Monday, uh, the 29th at 2 p.m., Muskogee, Oklahoma, uh, club lunch. So, and I don't think he's going live. He doesn't do a lot of Facebook, but club lunch in Muskogee, Oklahoma, um, 2 p.m. on June 29th. So that's my 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 um, deal here. Two days I have open right now. I might do something Wednesday and Thursday, but I'm not sure. But I know we definitely will probably be fishing. And just six said it again. I'll do it one more time. One more one one day left. One and a half days left of. The five leaf clover. If you haven't saw the five leaf clover, it is brown because it's not in the ground anymore. And we did not do the uh, the self preservation deal on this one. But this is a five leaf clover. It's going to auction. I think the auction is at three dollars and twenty five cents right now, uh, and then three dollars shipping. But I'm going to find a uh, uh, a baseball card sleeve to put that in. Uh, but it is still at three dollars and twenty five cents. So if you got three dollars and fifty cents, you can own this plus shipping. Uh, if you win the bid, uh, the bid is over to, uh, actually the bids over Friday at 11 59 PM. And I will, when I go live that day, I will try to, uh, let everybody know, um, that that is about to end. Uh, let me see what else I have down here before I get off of here. Um, I did note that I did raise the Canada, uh, post uh, postage for shirts because they just charged me $32 for one hoodie and one t-shirt. So $32 for shipping. It was more expensive than shipping Nicola uh, Jacobs uh, uh, hoodie to the UK. It went over water folks for cheaper. Uh, nasty spin wheel, the 19th, 9 PM central, please lock that in. Uh, I might try to do a little earlier, but, 9 p.m. is when I'm going to start doing the nasty spin wheel right here. So if you want to see this, it's $20 to spin, and you can win a free T-shirt. But what it just landed on was six Oreos dipped in pickled pig's feet juice. Yep. So that's going to happen. And I'll even let you pick the freaking flavor. I got three or four different flavors of Oreos here, okay? Um. Okay. Oh, and the blizzard. We're going to do the blizzard today. That video is coming out tomorrow. It's uh, the Pinata Party Dairy Queen blizzard. It's coming out tomorrow, and you can only get it for three days. So please, 18th, 19th, or 20th, I believe, uh, that you guys can only get this for three days. And they're letting me do it a day early, and I won't get the video out till the day of it when it starts. So he's letting me do it a day early so I can't edit it and get it out for you guys so you can see it. So please... Uh, Tune in tomorrow morning about 8.15 um, Central Time to check that out. Other than that, guys, uh, let me look at the comments real quick, and then I'm going to jump off here. When are you coming out west, Nevada or California? I don't know where I'm going from day to day except the, the Tulsa trip. It's the only thing I'm going to let you know. After this, there's going to be a Texas two- to three-day Texas trip, uh, but I, I don't know any details on that until this trip is over, locked in and over. Um <clears throat> I don't know where I'm going to be. It's just where the money's at, where my job It's like where my next job is. I don't know where my next job is. Like my promotion, that will pay me to go all the way to the West Coast or East Coast or wherever. Um, this is my only job other than promotions and contests. Uh, so if I'm not going anywhere where I'm making money, I'm losing money. Um, Oklahoma trip, I'm not making any money at all. I'm going to come out uh, even with all the stuff that I'm doing. I'm getting Tasha uh, free food at places that I go, so it's helping out on the expenses. We'll probably spend some stuff to, to do stuff while we're there, maybe go to the boat, the, te the, uh, the, the Tulsa uh, Hard Rock uh, Casino. Um, we'll probably go fishing. So we're going to try to make some, do some fun stuff while we're on it and make a trip about it. So if I do lose money, it's at least a trip. 
but I do get video, so I do get some back. So I, I do try to, you know, not having a house and try to keep the same amount of money or right about there to try to find a house. It's it's uh it's it's really stressful to do. Who came up with the pickled pig feet and Oreo cookies? I'm not sure. I, 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 one of you guys did when I talked about it last live. So I said, you know what? I'm going to put that on there. So I, I do listen to you guys, and there's stuff on there I don't want to do, and that's the whole purpose of that spin, spin wheel. Only one here, it's not like, oh, good, I get to swap hot dogs. But I put that on there, and that's one that I really don't care. If it lands on it, it's not a big deal. Uh, but people like to see that. The other ones I don't, I don't enjoy – but I just put them on there because you guys get to pick. So every now and then I'll take one off and put another one on there. So when I go to Clarence Isle at Walmart, if I see something on there that might go nasty with something, then I'll, then I'll get it. <clears throat> oh, wow. Nicola just said she has videos up. Five videos up. Okay. Well, Nicola, you're about to get a few subscribers. Because I'm subscribing, since you do all the stuff for me and share videos and subscribe, and you really and you comment. If you read Laura, there's some other, there's a couple other ones that started doing it now of the disposal team. But Laura uh, Baker and Nicola Jacobs, if you read their comments, they actually review my videos in there. If you read the comments, detailed, detailed comments. So I really do appreciate you guys. So if you stop, please like their comments if you like them. If you don't, don't like them. I'm not gonna make you. But uh. I do appreciate you guys. So uh, thank you. And, and I do, I try to do extra stuff for people here and there. That's what I did for her birthday coming up in, in five to six days. Uh, I, I did add stuff to her package and she saw it cause you saw the video, but uh, I thought the video was going to come out after you open the package, but your old, your family's old fashioned too. And you can't open your package till the day of. Okay. My mom was like that too, but she let me open what one package before Christmas, just one. But I always open all, all the packages. Uh, actually, there's a funny story I got to tell you before I get off here. It was funny at the time. It wasn't funny at the time for my sister. But we used to open up packages, and my mom beat my sister because she uh, she, she said she goes, "Who opened these pack?" She she said she opened them because we told her, "Hey, tell mom you opened them up." Well, she got beat, I think, a couple times, and um, actually, my mom start looking at the packages. None of hers was open. It was mine and my brother's packages that was open. Yes. Sorry, Amber. <laughs> <clears throat> Smoked orchard, boiled egg, and a sauerkraut. Um, actually, if you checked out my last BAM oysters, uh, if you checked out my last one, there's, there's, uh, there's something on here. Oysters and bean boozled. So I have to do like a half a can of oysters and a box of these bean boozled dills. These are the Harry Potter ones. These got like feet, what does it say? Rotten eggs, socks, vomit, boogers, and some other stuff. Like I mix this whole box up with a half a can of smoked with, with these oysters. <clears throat> so I change it up up there time to time. Speaking of brain freeze, I try to do a basket robins, basket robins, thirty one flavors. I tried to do a video there, but their um, guy was really super nice though. Manager was super nice, but I understand um, social media they don't like in um, restaurants because it might get be one little health code violation that if you really know people, if you see some of my videos and people all say, "Oh, that guy's doing this," if you know even two percent of what goes on in restaurants that. It, they're not all freaking 100% health code. Like, there's they're stuff that they're, you're going to see that people don't think about that uh, when you go to restaurants. So you only see it because you're seeing the video. If you didn't see the video, you wouldn't have known. But uh, I understand that people don't want uh, stuff in there. They might not wear a mask one time. The mask might fall off or not be above their nose and might get a, a bad thing. But – I was trying to say the guy was really super nice and uh, he um, is on popular. So if you ever go to popular, let him know, Hey, the garbage disposal, you know, he did give you a good shout out, even though he couldn't do a video here. I was going to do it outside and not get anybody in the video. I was going to do it outside in the patio facing the street, 
but I didn't argue with them because he was a, a cool guy and it wouldn't have, wouldn't help out anyway. But 31 flavors, you think they got 31 flavors? Guess what? They got 40 flavors. So I was like, yeah, let me do for Baskin 40, 40 flavors. That would be a good video. Baskin 31 plus nine. No, I didn't get a haircut. Uh, same hair. Actually, when I do this, I put gel in it and just do that and put gel in it. It actually tightens back up, like it rolls down. So actually, the hair is longer than this, probably double. Uh, but it just looks like it's uh, it's down. Tasha said she likes it, and I think she said she likes it because she didn't cut my hair yet. So you got to thank Tasha for not cutting my hair. And I did want her to, to I did want her to, to show her what my hair looked like like this. So and she, she does like it. I don't mind it. It's just when I'm in the um, when I'm in the sun and it sweats and like when I'm when I'm fishing, it's probably gonna be all over the place with with one of my with one of my visors or something or a hat. Um, <clears throat> I want to try to start wearing my Mexican hat out there. To, to it's, it's a big brim out there fishing. I know I'm not going to talk Tasha into it. She already doesn't want to wear the hat when we did the, the uh, Mexican food review. So I'm pretty sure I'm not going to talk her into wearing that. Uh, I did get her a tripod umbrella uh, that I had for my tripod, the umbrella that snaps to it so my cameras don't get hot. That actually fit on the rail of the boat, so she will have a, an umbrella because we were supposed to be camping a couple. I mean, fishing a couple of days ago, but it was too hot for her. So I like, I'll let you, ha I'll let you use this umbrella. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the umbrella for her out there, and I'll get a, a sunburn probably. <clears throat> but as long as we get to go fishing, <clears throat> yeah, sombrero. The big Mexican hat. Um, I wore that actually. I wore that when I did my vegetable stand. I, I, I smiled a lot and I had a big Mexican Mexican hat. So I um, actually did that for like my marketing type thing. So when I had my vegetable stand, that's what I did. So I still have two. I have a brand new one and I have an older one that I still had. Yeah, it's supposed to be really hot. I mean, I'll fish if it's 100 degrees. It's just uh, I put a, a I put all my sunscreen on. I might even try to put a mask on. You know what? That'd be a good idea. If you ask me, have coconut juice all over my face. Like, yeah, they do. That's what that, that, that you can use that if you're on strand on an island. You can use coconut juice to drink for a laxative. Uh, you can use it for uh, SPF 1000. Just put it on there and keep it caked on there or mud. You can use mud too. So if you see me in the boat with mud on my face, I might bring cucumber just to put on my eyes just to get a relaxing time while I'm fishing. But uh, you got to do what you got to do. So two percent milkman mask. Oh, I would probably get kicked out of the boat. Yes, I would not bring that on the boat. I don't think. Oh, that'd be funny though if I did. It'd be funny to me. Yep. Yep. She doesn't like that milkman mask. But I think it made an appearance on a video vlog 156, 157, or something like that. But I'm gonna I've I did find the milkman mask. Yes, Waffle House, you can see the kitchen. Subway, you can see where they're making it at. Uh, it's just you can't see the freezer. You can't see certain locations. You can't see where they buy it from. If the truck broke down and it recrystallized. If you ever buy food from the store, shrimp, chicken, if it's crystals on there, that means it, it was thawed out and froze again. If you guys don't know that, now you know. If it smells like shrimp, if it smells fishy, it's old. If it has a glossy eye, on fish, it's old. You're welcome in advance. I was supposed to jump off here like 20 minutes ago, folks. 20 minutes ago. But I do like uh, I do like you guys, kind of. So I'm not just saying that because you're on here. Uh, but I do, I do uh, appreciate you guys. So I do uh, want to spend some time with you guys until Tasha gets here. And then we're going to head on and do that review. So actually, it's almost 12 now, three minutes. So I do have to jump off her anyway. It may be 10 minutes, okay? 10 minutes. 
and uh, we'll head out to do that food review um, of the Dairy Queen Pinata Party. Uh, I was going to bring the Milkman Mouse to the camp as well as the bear. The bear would be so funny. Next time we go camping, bring the bear suit. I don't care what nobody says. She's going to be mad at me. And I hope you guys share the videos because I'm going to bring the bear suit and walk around. Walk around just around the campsites. Just walk around the road and I'll wave at people. Hopefully. Hopefully everything goes well. But... I think she's going to be really mad at me. So for me to do that for you guys and her be mad at me, I'm pretty sure you guys have to share the video. Well, Mike, I, I, I was going to tell everybody I was going to do it first because I actually, um, actually you want to do that. You want to tell everybody, Hey, I'm gonna have a bear suit. It's a friendly bear. Okay. It's not a mean grizzly bear. Something going to shoot you. But I want everybody to know, hey, I'm just doing this for YouTube video. I got a bear outfit, blah, blah, blah. And um, so I will uh, I will make sure to, to inform, especially the host of the camp. I'm definitely going to inform them first. Five Guy Food Review. Mr. Cadillac, no, I haven't, and I do want to. Uh, there. Oh, what's that place over here? I keep seeing I keep seeing the advertising on my Facebook because I'm in the Memphis area. It's another burger place around here that keeps popping up that I need to try. But food, uh, food review at uh, Five Guy, Five Guys. I would actually I could probably do a burger challenge here as well because they have some kind of big burgers. So I might do maybe maybe two or three burgers. I'm not trying to do 10, five or 10, but I'll do like two or three burgers or something. Yes, I will sweat in that bear suit, but it'll be for the, the greater good, okay? Thank you very much, Mr. Cadillac. And I really appreciate you guys uh, letting me know about new food items. If you know something that's about to, it's even better. Not to, oh, this just came out, then I'm kind of, my schedule might be packed or I got stuff going on. Tell me a week or two beforehand. Say, hey, this is coming out, such and such. And so I could do it before, uh, before the day before, like the Dairy Queen that's letting me do, uh, it's not even out to tomorrow, but they let me do it today. And I'll post it tomorrow morning so you guys can take advantage of it. But they're having a pinata party, Dairy Queen Blizzard, three days only. Only three days, and they're taking off the shelf. So 18th, 19th, and 20th. So please, um, please uh, check that video out. I don't know how it's going to be so far, but if it's good, it's good. If it's bad, it's bad. I'm going to tell you. And if you look at Tasha's facial expression, she pretty much can't hide it. So whatever I say, if you think I'm lying, just, just listen to her. But um, any kind of new stuff that's coming out, like the Sonic had something come out. If you, All the apps. I need a day of just doing apps. Subway app. But I won't get one free foot long. I think they got like a $5 foot long now. But the, the ones at $7, I got four foot longs for only $14. Four. So um, you get buy one, get one free. And I use two email addresses, okay? Because I had two, two different email addresses. Uh, but uh, I used... Uh, that one, buy will get one free. Uh, Wendy's has the free Baconator. If you get anything, if you get a dollar junior sandwich, a dollar, you get a Baconator and that for a dollar. Um, or just whatever else, any other purchase. Uh, if you use the Burger King app, you get a free Whopper with an order of something for whatever. But we got... It's four four big four Burger King nuggets for a dollar, but they actually have a deal for eight for a dollar. So we get eight nuggets and a Whopper. That's like ten dollars worth of food for a freaking dollar. Um, use your apps, folks. Apps, apps. Use them. Uh, so uh, saves a lot of money. Hey Anna, thank you for tuning in. I appreciate you. Uh, really, really thank you guys for uh, for watching the videos. Uh, Yes, uh, the bear costume and the milkman mask. I need to just go out and find some time. I need a bigger patch of woods, actually. 
So I'm going to find another spot around here. I did actually look around. I was looking creepy, but I was looking around for different spots around here. that Because uh, the one over here, you can still see the traffic on the other side, so it's not that big patch of woods. Um, I do. I was going to go around the park right here with the um, little uh, the pathway and um, that walk around the park with a bear suit, but I'm not sure if the police will like that. Thank you, you're nabbing kids. Like, sir, I'm not trying to have any kids. I'm not trying to take any bad kids from anybody. So I, I'm not trying to collect them. Like my mom collects cats. Red Robin. Yes, uh, sixth, I've done Red Robin. Um, actually, fun fact. I did, you know, fries are salty. The day after I did the four onions that I burnt my lip and it was like white crusted where you did this and the lip inside a lip came off. Yes. It's like cottage cheese. Yes. It's nasty, but the sulfur burn when I was doing that video, I don't know which live it is. If I can even find it, it was when I was trying to earn money to get my passport. So maybe look that up. Passport. And I was crying, actually. I was tearing up. I don't see the live. I, don't, I looked up Passport to Garbage Bowls, and I didn't see it. But it was a live um, where I did uh, earn, I, I raised money to do that. I did a, a speed challenge. I did a speed challenge of a 10-ounce onion, like 50 seconds or something. Well, right after that, I did a live where I ate three, three raw onions, like three different times. But it was like burning the inside of my lip like – I was crying. It was like I was eating hotter than the Carolina Reaper. But that's sitting in my mouth right here like a tobacco chew. That sulfur burnt inside of my mouth. I did a bottomless fry the next day because I already had a schedule. I'm a type of guy that if I can do it, I will be there. I already had a schedule with the manager to do it with my friend Manuel Del Rio. I stopped at 10 baskets. I just at, at eight or nine, actually nothing really hurt or nothing until eight or nine. Then it was like, ooh, like a sharp pain. So I, I, I stopped at 10 baskets. It sucked bad. Um, how can I find my vlogs? Uh, just go to my YouTube channel. If you go to my YouTube channel, you can go to www.thegarbagedisposal or you click my icon, hit playlist. And I have different playlists for people that don't want to see eating. I have nine professional eating challenge uh, eating. So if you see me just eating a regular meal and not going all ham with it, crazy. If you want to see those, those are in a different category. So you can just watch that. Uh, there's something that says no eating in video. There's, there's a vlog one. Uh, there's live stream one. Uh, there's uh, all my videos in continuous loop. I have that one. So go to my playlist and you'll see those in there. Um, Nicola, don't worry about it. I will. Um, I have Darren Eats on my on my list because Darren Eats, when he has some free time, and I have some free time to go see him, and he and he makes it like he's on vacation or something. Uh, I'm definitely gonna do videos with him because he's up for pretty much anything. So if we go to do some pranks on people out in public, like we'll sit in like McDonald's and ask people, "Hey, the whole football team against us two, you know, eating food at McDonald's or somewhere." We we'll do some some fun challenges with people um, and do some funny stuff inside. It's like swallow hot dogs. He can videotape me swallow hot dogs inside the store or something. So that would be really fun. Uh, I think Bob, when I go see Bob, I'm supposed to see him as well. Uh, Notorious B dot O dot B dot. Uh, after 4th July, um, I got it. I got it to, to get with him. I'm going to go do buffets with him. Hopefully we can get like two, three, four tables full of food and um, have people stare at us or something to do a video. Oh, no problem, Krista. Yeah, I do. Um, actually, that's what I, I do that on purpose. I, I first started doing all my videos in a continuous loop when I first was trying to get monetized. Um, back in 2017, maybe. I forgot what the date was, but it was when that omelet video came out. They changed they changed the um, format to, to be monetized. 
So I needed like 240,000 watch minutes. That's 40,000 watched hours and so many subscribers, like a thousand. I needed it by a certain time and I put it that, that uh, all my videos in continuing loop. So you can click that video. And if you fall asleep and the video's running, it'll just go to the next one. Uh, but I can't tell you guys just to do that. I mean, that's that probably me wrong. Uh, but uh, you, uh, but I started categorizing too, like non-fooding people that don't want to see the food, non-food eating uh, or non-professional uh, food, uh, the vlogs and everything. So I'll help you guys out is just to dissect what you might want to see. Okay, guys, I'm going to have to jump off here. It's been another 50 minutes, so I should have already been off here. But I do appreciate you guys. Please, 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 I, I, I stress this. I try to stress this a, a lot. Please share the videos. Please watch the ads. It helps out. Um, YouTube is down uh, like 60 to 70% of my pay is gone from YouTube, and then 100% is gone from promotions and challenges. So that's pretty much 90% of my money or maybe 80 the 90% of my money that I make uh, is pretty much gone uh, right now since the epidemic. So please, please uh, watch the videos, share the videos with people, if, the vlogs. If you know people that like vlogs that maybe might not even like them, say, hey, this guy's funny or this guy does this crazy editing, uh, please watch them. Give them a chance. Watch three or four of them. If you don't like them, don't watch them again. If you do, subscribe, hit notify. It's free. Tell them it's free to subscribe. I don't know why. People do not have a YouTube account. I think they're running from the police. But uh, I do appreciate you guys. So thank you very much. Um, and I said the eBay thing's over in a day and a half. The winning bid is uh, $3.25. If you want to see a five leaf clover, uh, it is on here. Um, I'm going to put up that now. I want to put up Tasha's channel one last time. Uh, click on Nicola Jacobs name right now. Uh, she has five videos up. She just started a YouTube channel. So let's say get her to a thousand characters in six days. So if, if you don't want to buy her a happy birthday gift, click her name, hit subscribe. Okay. Uh, let me see. Other than that, I think that is about all. Uh, so thank you guys. I'm going to jump off here. I have a Dairy Queen thing to do and Krispy Kreme later. Maybe they got Krispy Kreme uh, dessert. I don't know why it's Krispy Kreme dessert. Donuts are dessert anyway. But I'm going to try to do that review later on today as well. But tomorrow, Derek Queen video will come out of the pinata party. Talk to you later. Peace out, Girl Scout. I don't know why I say that. It just rhymes. <laughs>